what a day. The sun is out and we have Perth JDM Central Me down here at Swanview Athletic Centre. Now what you see behind me is the first ever meet of, of what Perth JDM Central are trying to do, which is a organised, good, static meet. Now the show actually only officially opened 20 minutes ago and there is a ton of cars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out some of my favourites, we'll go walk around them, go show you some beauty shots and just enjoy this incredible day. I'm going to burn, you're going to enjoy it, let's go. up is Dave's 32. If you are new to the channel I do actually have a video of this of him driving to his own wedding and a convoy over this a 33 a 34 and a hacko as well. 600 built. He spent seven years building this thing. Fully awesome plumbed in fuel system. It is ridiculous. He also has an S13 as well in the garage which he's building probably another seven years till that's done which will be actually in more better condition. Just don't ask him about his crooked radiator brackets. Hint hint. Everyone ask him about his crooked radiator brackets. But yeah an absolute testament to the attention to detail this man goes to. It is ridiculous. Honourable mention to Shaz's JZX100 because it is so good. So a big, big fan, fan of this FC because look how mint it is. It's so rare to see an FC in this condition. Like look at the interior. Absolutely love it. Continuing with cars which are a real treat to see is this what looks like a fully stock 180 Type X. And when I say fully stock I even mean suspension stock but it is ridiculous it looks like original paint too because it's not mint but for the age Oof. this guy is in a car but he's spooled me dish go check him out put his instagram on the screen hey and here we have the VIP gang who have gone super, super hard on embracing the Japanese subculture. Now, what I will say is you can't really see it, but the rear lights on that are... Uh, this has also got some insane lighting in here, which again, you can't see because it's in broad daylight, but you get the idea. And when I say this meat is big, um, where I was standing is no longer a spot because there's cars and I think there's 12 lines of cars already and they just keep coming. Alright so this is the Source X S13 uh, quite famous on Instagram actually because he imported this last year and it has almost every factory option on it that an S13 actually came out with and when I say that I do not the options on this thing there are options that you have not even heard of. Day 67, they haven't noticed some an MR2. Alright, so this is one for the Americans, I guess, but this is a Varietta. So this is the convertible S15, so in here is a hard top which folds up. 
not gonna lie when they're folded up they look a bit rank but down they look sick the only problem with these let me show you something they only came in auto I care what you all say that's cool I think these have a like not even a one liter engine in them uh, and uh, check out the doors that's the door <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, I actually have no idea what this is. I'm assuming it's an old Sierra um, Suzuki 540 by the sticker, but who knows. And I also love, just to show you how rad this thing is, start your bastard, just in case. This is Steven's R34. If you're new to the channel, this was also in Dave's wedding video. Now, Steve has owned this for a very, very long time. It was his dream car and he's built it up. Um, but what I will say is if you ever see him, uh, ask him about his red fitting because he really likes this red fitting and he would have really appreciate it if everyone just was just like, hey, where'd you get the red fitting from? Just, just do, me, do me that solid. All right, thanks. And this is what happens when you throw immense amounts of money at uh, an Evo. Jesus. And you know an Evo makes power when it doesn't look like it makes power? That's when you know an Evo makes power. Day 83. They're starting to suspect. This is a Ricey Boys B16 Turbo. I can't remember the power it makes. I think it's 250 or something. But it just had a respray. It looks super, super good. gonna pack up head off uh, I want to take some pictures now so if you want to see some pictures check out my Instagram huge shout out to Perth JDM Central for organizing today for everyone that showed up there's actually still people arriving finishes in half an hour but absolutely insane turnout hopefully I'll see you in the next one